Kickoff for many Texas 6A and 5A football teams is tonight after a five week long delay from the UIL, all because of COVID 19. Texans Jennifer Sanders is live for us at Bible Stadium in Leander with the changes fans are seeing this season. Jennifer. Hey, Sydney, a very good evening to you. As you can see, everyone has gone home. The lights are off, but the fans here, when they first got here, the first thing that they noticed was obviously they cannot buy any tickets here on the premises or at any campuses around the district. Everything is online. Another thing they noticed, 10,000 people. That's the capacity here at Bible Stadium, but actually only 3,700 tickets are available. Before you step into the stadium, the message is loud and clear. Wear your mask the whole game. Just a few steps away at the concession stand. Everybody gets a hand sanitizer. Every worker has to stay at their station on a mat while they serve food from a limited menu. So this year, if it isn't already prepackaged and prepared, we can't sell it. And they'll serve fewer people as stadium capacity is cut in half. That announcement made by the UIL after it delayed the season for almost 500 6A and 5A districts in Texas so larger schools could focus on implementing COVID-19 guidelines on and off the field. It's something new for players like Gavin. They make us wear masks whenever we're not playing. The UIL doesn't mandate players to wear masks during the game. In the stands, though, fans must wear masks and space out while they are closely monitored by Leander staff members in these bright green shirts. My daughter's handicapped and I have problems too and so we always sit up here because we don't maneuver stairs and we can't sit together because of the spacing of everything. But it doesn't really bother her. Just being back here at the stadium brings back a sense of normalcy. Yeah, we love football. We love football. And let me tell you, almost all of the fans that we talked to, especially as they were leaving the stadium, they have the same sentiments as Lucy. They just are happy that football season is back. And keep in mind that 1A through 4A school districts, they started their schedules, their football schedules, as regularly scheduled. This only affected the 5A and the 6A districts. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, Jennifer, lots of people excited. Thanks so much. At the beginning of this month, the UIL threatened to enforce sanctions against schools that didn't follow coronavirus safety guidelines. Texas superintendents and athletic directors received letters saying that games could be suspended if players and fans don't follow the rules. Those include wearing masks and staying six feet apart. Not long after that, we saw changes at some schools. Vernon High School added tape on bleachers to remind people to keep their distance the week before it didn't look like very many spectators were social distancing.